All right, everyone, so what we're going to do is I've got a, a handout for you. I'm going to provide you this handout, and you can print it a little later, but I'm going to give you a handout that explains YouTube a little bit, and it gives you some advice, because YouTube is a huge can of worms. I could easily teach a YouTube class just four weeks long itself. I could go on and on about YouTube. Uh, it's, it's that powerful. It's that complex. It's that interesting. It's that useful for your business. We have one day to work on it, so I've got uh, a handout for you. On your computer, if you go to the desktop and then you open the computer window at the top left, double click computer, inside that computer window then you're going to see classroom data Z, as in zebra, classroom data Z, double click that one. You'll see a lot of folders from a lot of different instructors. Scroll down. It's alphabetical. Scroll down and find Campos Social number two. Let's click, click on Campos Social two. And then when you open that, the syllabus is there if you're new today. The syllabus is is right there. Uh, and then I've got this YouTube handout and then these YouTube video, these videos that we're going to work with. So what you want to do is drag all of those to your desktop. You want a copy of those, so just select them and then drag them to your desktop. Let's take a moment to do that. So drag them to your desktop and then we'll take it from there. So if anyone needs a little help setting that up, let me know. But you need to drag those over first. Where did the sign-in sheet end up, the pink sheet? Right, let me sign that and pass it along here. So everyone should get a copy of those three files. Well, one is the syllabus. You already have that. But the other one is this handout that we'll look at together. And then in that folder of videos, I've got a couple of short videos that we'll work with. Again, we can, we're can we going to work with my videos first. And then if you would like to use your videos, I've got a cable for you. But we'll wait for that during the break. Hopefully you brought your own cable. I don't have enough for a whole class set. The other thing is, well, we're going to work with videos. What are the two things that every video has? Trick question. Sound and visuals. Sound and visuals, yes. So we're going to be able to easily see the visuals. The sound, well, isn't it going to be annoying if everyone is playing their video while we're editing and someone's volume is higher than the other person and then that person raises their volume and then someone else raises their volume because they can't hear their own thing? So all our computers right now are muted. You're not going to hear the sound on these videos. If you brought headphones, we can plug in the headphones, and then you can hear. So that's one of the difficulties of teaching a YouTube class in that, well, we're not going to all be turning up our volumes. We're not going to be turning on our volumes uh, because we, we have that problem. So if you brought headphones, great. If not, that's OK. We'll still be able to work. But um, working with a video requires that we deal with the visuals and the audio. And so um, you want to make sure you copied those files. I'm going to look at the, let's go ahead then and double click the, um, the document called Campos Social to YouTube. Double click the, the, the PDF file called YouTube. You can print this out a little later when I turn the printer back on, but you don't need to print it really. So this is my social media, YouTube, uh, social, social profile, YouTube. You might not have quite thought of YouTube as a social network, but if you think of a social network, it has the ability to create an account, to chat with people, to post updates and content, to share. It's a social network. 
Well, YouTube has those characteristics. It has the ability to create a profile, to share content, to comment, and all of that. So it is a social network, and it's also a very, very, very large social network. I don't have the latest number to see how many people use YouTube, but hundreds of millions of people use YouTube. And there are billions of hours, well, maybe not so many, but there's hours and hours and millions of hours of, of content on YouTube. All those short little videos add up. You can even, at the moment, there's no limit to the, num to the length of your YouTube video, actually. So I've got a little quick setup here, which we'll do together uh, to create a YouTube account. YouTube is tied, a YouTube account is tied to your Gmail or your Google Plus or your Google Voice or whatever, whatever you have. So if you've got a Gmail, it's a simple click to activate YouTube. So if you don't have Google Plus, but you have Gmail, we can activate YouTube. And since we all together previously created a Google Plus, it's going to be the same process to create the YouTube. So we'll do this together in a moment. And then I've got types of videos. So there's six types here, which we'll look at them together. Um, but this is sort of a little guide to help you think about what am I going to post on YouTube. I hear that it's important. I hear that it's popular. But what am I going to put on YouTube? I'm, I'm not an actor. I don't know what to put. I've got examples here, six examples of a variety of kinds of videos that you could, uh, that you could publish. So we'll look at them together in a moment. But I've got unboxing, screen capture tutorial, how to review lists, advertisements. So there's many others that I have not listed here, but here are six to give you an idea. I'm going to play each one of them, and I'm the one that's got the sound, so you don't have to play them because you won't hear anything. So this is an uh, unboxing video. Maybe you've never heard of that term. Well, I'm going to show you what an unboxing video is right now. So as this loads up, one of the popular kinds of YouTube videos is the unboxing video. And this can range, any of these kinds of videos can range from completely amateur to completely professional. So to get to the professional level, you need a lot of tools. For example, a good video camera and microphones and, uh, and <coughs> lights and all of that stuff. This video is private. Okay, let me skip that then. I'm just going to show any example here. Hopefully it's safe for work. So what an unboxing video is is, uh, What's up, guys? T Mark here, popular. and I'm glad to be back, baby. So I saw you guys last week with the unboxing of the PlayStation 4. This week, we are straight up straddling my other baby, the Xbox One. So here we go, guys. I, uh, I got some games and the day one edition live. Xbox One. So a lot of people are asking live. questions why are some Xboxes so far, black and why are some green? Well, so if it's black, that means it was a day one edition. If it was green, that means it's just a normal one. So I don't think there's truly a difference between the two. I'm not sure. But I guess we'll find out. Now we open this thing up. So, uh, what do you guys say? Create. Let's get into it. All right. So here we go. Let's open this bad boy up. Oh yeah. Let's take the top off her. This is our first date, first night together, and she's already getting all sorts of dirty. Oh gosh. Okay. So you don't want to open it like I just did. Everything's gonna fall out. Uh, here is the new power brick, which is uh, it's a lot more square. Uh, let's take this thing out of the package. That's the first. This this game console. And he's talking about it, why it's so great. And yes, this is a kind of a video that is very popular nowadays. You, you may have never seen one of these videos or heard of them, but right here, nearly a million people have seen that video. Aarons.com, 
What's up guys, T-Mart here, and I'm glad to be back, baby. So I saw you guys last week with the unboxing of the PlayStation 4. This week, we are straight up straddling my other baby, the Xbox. Don't the dirty, oh gosh, okay. So you don't want to open it like I just did. Everything's going to fall out. Uh, here is the new power brick, which is, uh, it's a lot more square. Uh, let's take this thing out of the package. That's the first thing I noticed okay. about it, though. It's, it's, it's very really square. Tough. It's very boxy. It doesn't really yes. have the uh, the. This is one of these kinds of videos. And so, uh, we got the Xbox so One little logo cover box, here. We've got a, a quick this setup guide. Actually uh, we are going to need that. Seen. Um, Xbox One, thank you well, for being a part of day one. You're one of the first experience a new generation of entertainment. To commemorate this moment, we've so created an exclusive day one achievement for you. Welcome to Xbox One. Holy crap, so I'm not going to show you guys this code, but this is an achievement for getting the Xbox Day One Edition. So that's pretty cool. I'm a pretty big achievement whore, as you guys know. So, so I'm excited about that. Uh, get a quick uh, Xbox Live Gold, a 14 day trial of Xbox Live Gold. So if you don't have gold, that's obviously going to be good for you guys. Uh, it looks like We've got a full kind of instruction again, manual type thing. Uh, and then we've got an Xbox uh, little decal Could sticker type thing. So, uh, that's that. Now, my concept of next up, we've got the chat headset. So, the I PS3 chat headset was just like one little earbud no, with a little kind of like neck nice microphone type thing that was on the cord. Uh, this one looks like it's a little bit more in the box, uh, like the old it, Xbox 360 reaction, headset. So, it's an actual really headset you put over your head. It's got the mic right here. And this thing, which goes down into the base of your controller. So, that's how that thing works. Now, one really interesting part. Part of the Xbox One is the uh, headset part of the port uh, that goes in the bottom of the controller the scary video. is now this, let's try to get this in uh, focus, it's like this so, weird like USB this almost looking type thing so I know other controllers uh, so I don't think they're going to work for chat purposes there might be a um, an adapter that, that comes out where they might have to uh, to build all new headsets so I don't know how that's going to work we will find out in so the coming future, but uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know about that. Uh, next up, we've got the camera, Xbox One controller, so I really like this thing. It, it's different, it's going to take some getting used to, but I do really like it. It's and, a nice um, controller. Uh, the so there we go. Not so good. This the is it right is here. So very, very He's beautiful really and sleek the, looking. Looks like product, you can open up the, the back and it actually comes with the battery pack here. Oh no, it's actually okay. So this thing still takes AA batteries. I did not know that. So there you guys have it. It comes with some nice Duracell copper tops. He's you pop these things into the back audience. of the controller so here. Which way do they go? Consoles. I'm not seeing. A, oh, plus and, and minus. Okay, there we go. Uh, boom, but boom, in, in and and bam. Games. There we are. So the uh, the batteries go in the controller there, him, and we're, we're good to go. And then also, in so you guys can see. Day one so, edition 2013 right there on the again, controller, the so that's pretty cool um, that it kind of commemorates that, uh, that event. Now, uh, getting back to the box, we're trying to get traffic. here it looks like we've got an HDMI cord, so obviously you need to hook, that, to hook that up to your theme, TV. Uh, inside here we've got our Kinect, which has a something. big old long cord, that's nice. Wow, uh, this thing is huge, and it's very, very heavy. I don't think this thing is really going to be able to sit. On top of my monitor, like I would like it to. So, hmm, we're gonna get, have to get creative with the placement here. It looks like the eye is over here on this side, and then uh, there's an Xbox logo over here. So yeah, this thing, it's big, it's heavy. It's got a screw right here, so maybe you can like mount it to the top of, of your TV entertainment system or whatever, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I don't think this thing is gonna be very good for placing on top of a monitor. So um, you know, like I said, I don't know uh, how I'm gonna get around that. And then finally, let's get to the beast here, baby. The reason why we're all here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this console, I, I think it is a little bit bigger than the PlayStation 4. I'm actually going to do a comparison video, so make sure you guys check back for that. But it doesn't it doesn't seem like it's that much bigger, and it's actually pretty light. Like, it's a lot lighter than I was expecting. So here we go. Let's unmask this thing. There it is. The Xbox One. As you can see on the front, you've got your disc tray, the Xbox logo power button. On the back, looks like we've got... enough of that one. Let's look at another... This is unboxing, or any questions so far on the unboxing video? Is it, is it always uh, pretty much uh, uh, related to uh, products, basically taking products out of packages and showing you how to utilize or assemble them? Or is it, is it other non-product related uh, unboxing videos? Most of what I've seen is related to some sort of technological item and opening it up and showing it off. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the next kind, oh yes. Do you get to pick um, the, the advertisers that came with it, do you get to pick them? 
No, not quite. When you set up monetization, uh, you're just basically activating what kinds of ads in general, but not picking which ads. YouTube, however, is pretty smart to show the ads that are relevant to the people that would care based on the kind of video that we upload and all of this description because this one says unboxing or Xbox One unboxing video console connect games controller more Xbox day one edition black he wrote that description the descriptions are, are very important for your video so people can find them and then the YouTube ads will be based on this as well and then we've got uh, a longer description over here. That was the title, this is a description. So what you write about here and how you set this up will guide what kind of videos, uh, what kind of ads appear on your videos. So you know, the videos the ads seek you out if, if they feel that you're helping their product? Well, no, you have to turn on the option to use ads and then based on what your content is, then you'll see videos related to that. So it's keyword sensitive as well, right? Yes. And so do you ever use hashtags in your, in your verbiage? No, hashtags really aren't a thing on, on, uh, on YouTube. It's basically, we're going to see a box here. We don't see it here at this moment, but we have a box called keywords. And so we add those keywords, which are basically hashtags, but not literally hashtags. All right, so the other kind of video, let's see if I can get some sound. Screen capture tutorial. At DeVry University's College of Business, we're looking for the go-getters. So if you want to learn what's been business world tested today and make... Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos and we're going to talk familiar. about Android development. Now, we need three pieces of software, basically, to get this all working. So we're going to go to... All right, so this is what is a screen capture tutorial. This is what I'm doing for these classes, isn't it? If you've asked for the videos for my classes, this is what I'm doing. I'm recording what I'm doing on screen with my voice. I'm doing some kind of tutorial. I'm uh, showing something on the computer step by step. This is also uh, a kind of YouTube video. Um, this works really well for, again, technical things that you do on a computer. So on Victor's Bakery, let's say I have um, I have my uh, my shopping cart, uh, my whole e-commerce setup on my website. But maybe it's a little complicated to use for some reason. I can create a 30-second video, a screen capture video, to show. Go to the top right corner, click this button, click the drop down, click submit. So I know for myself as an instructor, there's a lot of tutorials that the college gives me to learn how to use their online systems. And that's what the, that's what the employees are doing here at the college. They're recording their screen and talking to us and explaining it. How am I doing it? I'm using this software. I don't know if it's available for the Mac. I didn't look it up. But I'm using this software right here. So I'm recording this right now. It's called Open Broadcaster Software. It's free software that records everything you're doing on the screen. It follows your mouse. And if you've got a microphone or a web camera, it records your voice. That's what I've got right here. This web camera is recording my voice. And it's recording everything I'm doing on the screen. Every time I record these lectures, I'm using this software. I'm not going to go into detail how to use it, but the software is free. I'm pretty sure it's available for, for Mac, but if you do a search online, open broadcaster software. You'll be able to download it and set it up and do this kind of video, the screen recording video. So again, maybe you're selling a product that requires assembly. Maybe you're doing some web design. You've got a web design company and you um, want to give a free tutorial on how to set up a GoDaddy account. 
Um, so anything that can be recorded off your laptop or desktop screen can be recorded with that software and many other kinds of software. Off the top of my head, that's the one that I would recommend for Windows. I'd have to do a little bit of research for one on Mac if you've got a Mac, but there's plenty of this software out there. Here's another one from a different tutorial, and today we're going to tackle the Foxy Theme homepage. And the Foxy Theme is a theme that's created by Elegant Themes. Elegant Themes is a subscription base, okay, so but Foxy Theme is, is particularly one, my favorite when it comes to and creating static websites these, for churches or uh, business or, or anything like that. And the reason why I like so the Foxy Theme screen. is it's so easy now, for you to volume, use once you kind of learn how to navigate it. So that's our goal today, is to kind of teach you how you can make some changes to it, how you creating any video, of course, add your menu. As I said, there's two components, the audio, and all of those kind of things. And the so video. You can set up the video page. part might so not be the hardest part to create. Introduce you to the different to create. The audio part the probably is going to be the harder and one. The first one is because the right here, right here. The second probably one is I have to plug in my headphones and turn the volume all the way up then you have because your main that is telling me it's really now, low volume. These three areas up here, but still, it's got five thousand views, and they're actually on every single page. And this is that kind of video where money box as a screen recording letter by the everything that's on the screen is being recorded so that you can. Here follow in along area here and once again come down and click that great little save now do you notice on my videos and when I it. when once I want to emphasize it, something I zoom in that the tagline like that, is and then it's much readable now the main menu this person doesn't seem to know how to do that use so the let main me show you that if you're on the Windows computer um, on your keyboard try this you've got the Windows key and then on the right side you've got the plus key Hold the Windows key and press plus, and that zooms you in. Hold the Windows key and press minus, zooms you out. So this is the plus and minus key. I can't pull my keyboard out, but the plus and minus key on the number pad on the right side, not on the number row at the top. Hold Windows key, press plus, zoom in. You can zoom in more than once. Windows key minus to zoom out. You can do this also on a Mac, but um, it requires special uh, different keyboard shortcuts. So if you're on the Mac, see me, and then we'll we'll set it up for you. But this is what I do on my on my videos because this person right here, maybe they're showing a really nice video on really explaining it. Foxes, but even if I've got my screen really right big now, like that, sometimes example, it's hard I've to see what did they click on. The e so screen recording so we'll software parents, or screen recording videos sometimes have the problem that it's, it's, and it's hard to see exactly what they're doing now, because they don't zoom in or zoom out. So my advice is if you're going to do any of these screen recording videos, learn the way to zoom in, which on Windows is you hold the Windows key and press plus. And then you can focus on that part, and then Windows key minus to zoom out. That, sorry, that's important for when you're creating the video? Yeah, because if I am if I never zoomed in, and I'm saying, click on this, and you're looking around, where, where's he clicking? Oh, okay. So if I zoom in to show where I'm about to, about to click, it'll let people know where I'm clicking. Is there a way to make a click noise? That depends uh, on the kind of screen recording software. I believe my recorder here might have an option somewhere um, to turn that on, the sound of a click. And sometimes I've seen that when someone clicks, it kind of glows for a moment, a little yellow glow or a red glow. So it depends on the screen recording software. Some will enhance that. Yes. The little thing that you have on your... This little web camera? Yeah. Did that come with any instructions when you bought it to do all the messaging things? Or? No, it's just like when you, like if you buy a regular camera to take family photos, maybe it has an instruction manual for setup and such, but not a really big one to, to tell you how to take the best photos. So this came with a manual how to install it and so forth, but it didn't explain at all how to do this recording. This is advanced stuff. So most people will not get 
will never need to do what I'm showing you here. So it, how many of you have seen this kind of video before, a screen sharing tutorial video? It's pretty common. So as I said, this one's got 5,000 views. Um, so that's one, one, another kind of YouTube video. Any questions on this one? I've got on the next one here, how to video. Um, so this is, this is more like what I was going to say earlier. What if you've got a product that needs assembly? I bought a few years ago because I, uh, my company, we do photography, product photography, and all of that. But I also like to do photography on the side. So I bought a, I bought a light box. So it's like probably like six feet by six feet. It's a big box where you can then a person can get inside and you can control the light and all of that. And that required a little bit of a tutorial about how to, uh, how to set it up because it folds as it folds this small, and then it unfolds and it's six feet by six feet. Well, great. Un unpacking it is easy. It just pops open because it's got springs and such. Putting it back into that little shape, that's a little complicated. So I had to go watch the video a couple of times, and then I said, oh, okay, here's the trick. Now I can get it down to that size. So a how-to video, let's see if we can get this one to play, would be good for... Hi, I'm Celeste with E.B. Stone, and today we're going to be so talking strange. about how to plant tomatoes. Sound First, you want to plan the location for your vegetables. Make sure this spot gets at least six hours of sunlight. There's several different ways you can plant tomatoes. You don't need a huge yard to grow your own food. You can plant in rows, containers, or in raised beds. Regardless of how you plant your tomatoes, they all basically can be planted the same way. Picking the right type of tomato is very important. There are many different varieties of tomatoes. First, you need to figure out what your uses are for your everything. tomatoes. Maybe you want to use them for soups or salads or maybe in hamburgers. Check with your local nursery and they'll help you decide what tomatoes are best for you with your uses in your area. If this is your first time growing tomatoes, I would suggest you pick four types. First, an early variety, so you'll have fruit very early on. Second, get a beefy tomato that has a lot of meat to it. Third, an heirloom variety. And fourth, get a cherry tomato. For raised bed planting, first we're gonna fill the bed with soil. Good organic soil is the key What's to growing great tomatoes. It contains all the nutrients necessary yeah, to set a good foundation for growth. 90% of plant success is related to the soil, so don't buy cheap soil and expect doesn't great results. Matter. My computer doesn't Next, play we're going to dig a deep settings. hole. Tomatoes are one of the few plants that can be planted very deep, all the way up to here, because all these tiny little bumps are roots that are waiting to come out. We want to remove all the lower leaves from our tomato and any flowers that we see because we so don't want the tomato to start music, producing fruit That's too okay. early. Uh, We're going to massage so the roots just slightly so they know they're not in a... Okay, so this one is one of the more professional videos. Let me back up. This is how to plant tomatoes. So, I'm going to turn off captions for a moment. Okay, so we've got, we've got a shot where she's talking. We then had a quick shot of other things like the dirt, notice the focus pull, and then more shot of her talking, and then it kind of alternates between her talking, maybe a close-up here, uh, we've got text on the screen, um, then the scene changes to, to show her down on the dirt actually working. So there's no limit to how you can make these videos, it really is about how much time uh, you have, how much effort you want to put in, how professional you want it to look, what kind of style you want it to have. This is one of the more advanced ones that I'm going to show you. It really is a complicated one because look at that. So there's a photo with a little pan effect to zoom in. I'll show you how to do that as well. That's a still photo that then the camera zooms in. Um, we can do all of that in the software. So that was out of focus, and then we went into focus. Here we've got a different angle now. Close-ups, all of this stuff. This would, this would easily take hours to set up. Never mind the recording part of it. The editing is what also takes a long time. A rule of thumb often is take the length of your video, let's say I want a one-minute video, and double um, the time, and that's going to be at least how long it's going to take you to make the video. So if I want a one-minute video, it's going to take me at least two minutes to edit it. Uh, oftentimes much more than that. If I want a five-minute video, it's going to take me ten minutes of work. 
and especially as beginners or those of us that, that don't know this as much, it's going to take even longer, and that's okay. The software uh, is free. Windows Movie Maker that we're going to use in a little bit is totally free. iMovie is free. All of this software for Windows or Mac is free. It's not as powerful as the big name ones like Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro, but we don't need such power. I'm going to show you examples of videos that I've done for clients with plain old Movie Maker. It's, very, it's relatively powerful for le letting us do what we want. We're not going to be able to do really cool things like green screens and a picture-in-picture, -picture, advanced stuff like that, but we will be able to do these different shots. We'll be able to do add text on screen. We'll be able to add music, effects. So this one's got 57,000 views, how to plant tomatoes. At the end of this video, then, it has some text uh, to kind of tell you, to kind of wrap things up. So really, the format, what, what to record is up to you based on your company. How to do it, we're going to talk about, about how to edit the video. That assumes you've got a video. Again, I'm going to provide you a video. But to record the video, that's another endeavor in and of itself also. So this is the how-to. You've probably seen plenty of these. Any questions on the how-to video? So that's a company sponsored video. Um, possibly. Let's see. Celeste Wheeler from E.B. Stone explains the proper and most effective way to plant. Yeah, it looks like uh, yeah, E.B. Stone is a company, and then Celeste is is the spokesperson. Yes. So. On all of these, like how to's or unboxing, or whatever, for the consumer side, when they're looking for, like, if I was looking for how to plant tomatoes on YouTube, how do I drive my my video so that when they go how to do tomatoes, my video comes up before anybody else? Well, that's what we'll do once we've created the video, created the YouTube account, and uploaded it. Then we're going to talk about all of this stuff, all of this metadata. What's a good title, description, keywords, uh, sharing to other social networks. Because if you've got a presence, if you've got some followers and such on Facebook, why not also tell your Facebook followers, check out our video on YouTube? Some will then come to look at your YouTube video. So it's all kind of cross-pollinating. Use the power of one of your social networks to boost another social network. So it's all a big ball of wax. And we'll get to that. Once we create the video and create the YouTube channel, then we have to deal with the metadata. We've got review. So think in terms of what you can do or what your customers can do. What if you get reviews from your customers about your product? It could simply be like uh, asking a person in real life, your customer, can I record you for a moment? So you, you start to record them, they're going to be nervous, of course, but uh, you start to record them, you get a rapport, you just keep rolling, you keep recording for five minutes. Even though my video is going to be 30 seconds, I could record for five minutes, and then in the software we cut it down to 30 seconds. So I'll show you in the software. This is another very professional one, this is from CNET. They're a big name in the world of technology. Uh, that's Brian reviewing uh, Google Glass. This is a uh, technology. It's a little old now, but it's this is Google's attempt at making this this little computer that you put on as a pair of glasses. It hasn't quite worked out. How many of you have heard of Google yes. Google Glass? Not not as many as I thought. Yeah, it kind of bombed. So it's been out for a couple of years, maybe two or three years, and this is a little older video. But basically, that's a computer on his face, and uh, it. It was supposed to be amazing and all of that, but it bombed. Um, it cost uh, it cost one thousand dollars, and um, you had to get an invitation and all of that. And so it, it didn't reach enough people, and and people thought, well, this is creepy. What about if I turn it on and I and I go spy on people? So maybe it's too um, it's too soon for this technology. But anyway, this is a review. He's talking about the product again. This is from an advanced 
this is a professional company. You saw a moment ago, he had two cameramen um, recording him at two different angles. So then after that, the editor um, put the video together. Uh, there's sound, uh, there's some text, there's different angles of, of the shot. Uh, the big thing is if I could play the, the audio, it's audio is often the Achilles heel of anyone's video. The volume is too low. See right there, he's got two cameramen. And if you pay attention, those two cameras are Canon cameras. They're not those big, huge cameras that you buy, that you see on a movie, you know, on a Hollywood movie. These are cameras you can buy at Fry's Electronics, a Canon or a Nikon camera, one of those DSLR cameras. Have you heard of that term, DSLR? It's basically those classic kind of cameras that you see photographers, news photographers and such, they have. Nowadays, you can take still photos and you can record high quality video with them. I've got a Canon um, T2, T2i, T2 the latest one is the T6, I think, so mine's a few generations old, but I'll show you examples of videos that I've made with it. And so you can record your videos with your cell phone, most likely, depending on your phone, like if you've got a, a pretty new iPhone or a pretty new Android phone, this is going to record really well, HD quality. The problem, most likely, is going to be the sound. So if I'm trying to interview someone and I'm standing here, and my interview is standing over here, it's going to be way too far for the microphone of the camera to record. So we'll talk about sound and such, but if you look here, it's kind of hard to see on my projector, they've got little extra microphones plugged in. This is a microphone right there. So the big secret about shooting a good video is the sound quality and the video quality. And as a beginner, we don't quite think of that because we live in this world, this three-dimensional world. You can hear me, you can see me perfectly. But these things, even the best device, the best phone, the best camera, cannot compare to the human ear and the human eye. Yeah, it might have 40 megapixels and, and all of that, but um, if you don't set your device up properly, it's going to record terribly, even though you spent $500 on that camera. So this is a review. You could be reviewing your own product. You can have a customer reviewing your product or your service. See, this is one of the advanced ones. They then did a different shot over here of a completely different scene. But this is something that we'll be able to do in the software. Notice as we watch some of these videos, we might say suggested. YouTube recently added the ability for us to, um, to link one of our videos to another one of our videos. So if someone's watching a video, they get to a certain point, a little pop-up happens that says, you might also like this video. So it can take them to another one of our videos. We have the ability to kind of keep people captivated. So if you've only got one video on our channel, where, where, what else are they going to look at? The point is we want to add videos, maybe not as a, re as a regular basis as Facebook updates or Twitter updates and such, because this takes much more effort. But maybe if you resolve, to add a new YouTube video once a month, that's a good goal. And the length, it's really up to you. 30 seconds, 15 seconds, 10 minutes, one hour. Um, there used to be a limit that YouTube videos can only be 15 minutes long. And now, uh, I believe for everyone, they've, they've raised that. So now you can upload technically unlimited length of videos. So I've uploaded a three hour long video, just for fun. And uh, yeah, you can upload a three hour video. No one's going to watch all three hours, probably, but um, the point of that is that it's up to you how long. This is a little bit less than two minutes. That's like a movie trailer and 33,000 views, nearly a million subscribers. And then at the end, it's going to suggest a bunch of them. Some of, some of the videos are going to be suggested from CNET themselves. So the more of your own videos you upload, more of your suggested videos will appear. It'll also suggest other videos related to that same topic. So this one went over to College Humor, and it's their video. And so there's the review type of video. There's all, yes. Um, if you're going to use this just like as a Facebook post or a Facebook ad, is it like 30 
30 seconds? Is that a good target? Or yeah, the, the thing about this, it really depends on your audience. Perhaps your audience has a short attention span, so you want to do short videos. More and more, yes, but you will be surprised at some videos that, that are long, like 10 minutes and such, still get a lot of traffic. We'll be able to tell what's the attention span of our audience. Once we set this up and I show you the analytics screen, it'll tell us how long do on average people watch our videos. When did people start to get bored with this video? Um, how many likes did it get? Where did people view it on? Male or female? We'll be able to get all of that data. Yes? Would it be better just to increase the video that long just to break it up into part one, part two, and part three? That's a good idea. If you've got a long video, you could easily break it up into multiple parts. So if you took my uh, blogging class that's related to that, where I mentioned that you might want to write a 1,000 word blog, but instead of publishing that whole 1,000 words, you could break it up into two or three parts. That way you have content for people to come back to watch. So if you do have a 10 minute video, well, maybe what about breaking it up into two or three minutes? Into two or three minute segments, and then this week release one, and next week release another, or this month, next month, whatever. But I wouldn't wait that long between parts of one video. I might wait this week, then next week, then next week, perhaps? Yeah. And we'll talk about that. Breaking up your video, saving different versions of it, and all of that. Are you better off to create a section um, to cover a product put it in a section to give somebody a, a reason to, to follow it instead of boring them with a 45 minute that could be a good idea. Yeah, dividing it up into different pieces, different sections, that could be pretty useful. And we'll see that once we create our account here, we have we can create playlists. So maybe our our video was divided into five pieces, but if we create a playlist, all five of those videos are linked together. So a person could still play them one right after the other. They can just jump to the piece that they want to look at. Lists. That one's unavailable. All right, top five WordPress themes. So there's going to be some ads. Top 10 free WordPress responsive themes 2015. Top five e commerce WordPress themes. That one's only 22 seconds long. This one is 16 minutes long, but it does have 31,000 views. This one's three minutes long and has 6,000 views. I'm going to take a look at the 16 minute long one. All right, so this one has picture in picture. This software, actually, this um, open broadcaster software, you can do picture in picture, actually. It's a little bit of a setup, but it is possible to record yourself, I can turn on my web camera here while I'm showing what's on my screen and then my picture, my face will be in the corner. Um, so that's what she's got going on here. Port questions, fast, a great security and fast servers, they're the team to check out. And she's going to talk about these different themes from her screen. It's her list of top 10. So I, I talk about in my classes, Victor's Bakery. I could have a, a quick top three cookies. So we might sell a variety of kinds of cookies and we'll make a one minute long video showing off these really tasty cookies. And then at the very end, a kid bites one. So a million views. This has got 31,000 and a half views. It's mostly recording the screen, and then her picture pops up uh, every once in a while there. And um, it's, it's uh, 16 minutes long. And they've got 2,000 subscribers. So web integrity. Okay, what's the point? Why are they doing this free video? Well, most likely they're, they're giving away free content to entice you then to purchase something eventually. Maybe at the minimal, you'll click on an ad, 
and maybe better for them, you'll hire them to do your website because you see that they know what they're doing with, with WordPress, they are giving you this advice, but then still a professional will do a professional job. They give you, you might see a tutorial on how to install your WordPress and you try it and you can't quite do it, well guess what, it says right here, hire us to make your website. How to make a blog, step by step for beginners. That one's one hour long and it's got nearly a million views. So really, who is your audience? You won't know that quite until perhaps you start adding different kinds of videos. This is all free. YouTube is all free to set up and to upload as many videos as you want and you don't have any storage limit. I could upload as many five-hour videos as I want. YouTube doesn't give you a limit to my knowledge. Maybe if you do upload ten five-hour videos, maybe you'll reach a limit. But for all intents and purposes, you can upload as many videos as you want, any length that you want, and that way, as I've said in other classes and other days, well, you're, you're trying to catch, catch fish, you want to cast lures, and so maybe upload a 30-second video, maybe later upload 10-minute one, maybe upload a how-to video, maybe an unboxing video, and then as you start adding videos, you'll start to see what's my audience. Perhaps based on your other social media, you already have an idea, but then you still want to test that idea with different videos. Any questions on the list videos? It doesn't matter the number. Top 10, top 7, top 4, top 39, doesn't matter. advertisement. So this is one that my company did for a client, an Italian food client. It's about 40 seconds long. So it's a quick 30 second, 40 second advertisement to maybe make you a little hungry and then come to the restaurant. So you see this is a pretty complex one. Where we've got a variety of different shots, angles, there's music playing, there's an address, a web address at the end. All of this, I, this one I believe uh, we made it through iMovie, but we'll be able to do the same thing with Windows Movie Maker. So this required you know, this 40 seconds was like three hours of recording at the restaurant, not this one shot, but we recorded as much as we, we could, different angles and different <laughs> ideas. And then in the movie maker, then we put it together into a concept and something concise. Question? So, um, like I noticed some of those are that concept of the still photo that you just uh, zoom in and out of versus the other shots that are actually the video shots. Is there a big time difference between the two, or you know, is this a pretty simple process to have the still photo? And the still photo is the easier one to do, actually. Okay. Um, you can make videos, and I don't have the example here, but we can make videos made completely out of still photos. Maybe I don't have a video camera or a good video camera or a confidence to record good video. No problem. I've got 10 photos. With those 10 photos, I can put together a 30-second video with the zoom in and the zoom out and the text, and that's a viable video as well. So it's sort of like a slideshow, but maybe a little bit more impressive. And isn't there sort of a problem with syncing the voice with the... There is. With Not a problem. I'm talking about my voice lives me, so if you did the still videos, you would make that... Not a problem, but a challenge of getting that to work. Yeah, I've, I've had that several times, the synchronization. Is, is, is iMovie also free software? It is. The only thing is that you need to download it. It's not installed automatically on your Mac. You have to go to your App Store and download it, but it is free. Uh, oh, for, for PC and Mac? For PC, we're going to use Windows Movie Maker. Oh, so iMovie is only for Macs? Yes. And Movie Maker, okay, is the only one for PC? But... Yes. So here then, this has got 117 views and published on this date and a link and so forth uh, related to that. Um, let's see, 
another video. Let me, let me keep making you hungry. The concept of these videos is it goes straight from the kitchen to your table. So, honestly, the way these videos were set up was pretty serendipitous. There's many ways to accomplish this in that you can write your concepts down and then I want to record those shots. You can write a script. You can make storyboards, which are little pictures. Um, like Alfred Hitchcock was very famous in that he had the whole movie made as a drawing first. He had all of his movies, or most of his movies, as storyboards. He had them drawn out. Then he told the photographer, the cinematographer, record this shot. So he had it already on his mind what he wanted it to look like. He had his cinematographer then record it and then edit it together. So this one was the complete opposite. It was completely random in like, let's go into the kitchen, let's record things, let's get some different shots, let's see what happens. That's one way to do it. Um, that was a fun way, but it was a time consuming because then you think, well, what kind of concept can we get from these shots? A more efficient way would have been, we want to make a video focusing on this dish okay chef please prepare this this dish and we'll stand around and record and that might have gone with a faster shoot and a faster edit but in this case we did it the opposite way and there's no wrong or right way this one's got 110 views some likes and so the result is that hopefully it's an interesting video it catches your attention and then it entices you to to go order a plate mm -hmm. um, you've mentioned a couple software Open Broadcaster software and Windows Movie Maker. Differences between those two? Big differences. As I said, the Open Broadcaster is what I'm using to record my screen. And the Windows Movie Maker is what we will use afterward to edit the, the videos together. All of these different shots of making the salmon, that was not just one long me standing there recording. I was on this angle, this angle, that angle, and I used Movie Maker to put all the shots together. So you really need both of them? No, you need the open broadcaster if you're going to record your screen. Okay. So there's many other kinds of videos. I just listed a few here. Maybe you're getting some ideas, hopefully. How can I apply one of these to my particular product or brand and such? We're going to take a break in just a moment. But I've also got down here, you can look at this on your own tips for creating great videos. Vimeo.com has a video school, a free video school where you can watch these tutorials that explain to you how to set up your camera, how to set up the light, how to do a little editing. And then we've got over here MyVideoSEOPro.com, creating professional online video. So those two are links there that you can follow, educate yourself a little bit more, and this is very meta. You can go to YouTube and look up a YouTube video on how to create a YouTube video. <laughs> so we're going to take a break. Um, if you want to print this out, I'll turn the printer back on. Um, if you've got your own video you want to work with, I only have three of these little cables, so first come, first serve. But if you're not going to use your own video, no problem. I've got videos for you. It's 1031. We'll be back at 1041, and we'll go on.